Finally, a do-it-yourself plastic repair product that works. Easy ABS Repair is a heavy-bodied liquid ABS resin designed to easily repair any damaged ABS plastic. Even the most severely damaged plastic can be repaired at a fraction of the cost of new parts. There's nothing to add or mix up. Use the resin right from the bottle. The resin air cures in 24 hours and chemically welds the plastic in an unbreakable bond. The resin is sandable and it accepts paints like the original plastic. Hi there. This is Ron the Fairing Repair Guy with a new video. This one is a little personal. I have always carried a small can of aerosol lubricating spray in the saddlebag on my gold wing. Last spring I came back from Arizona and went to my toy hauler to unload the wing. One of the saddlebags was open. When I investigated I found that the can had blown up and blew the bag apart. Both hinges and latches were blown off, the bottom was blown out, and the side was blown out giving me a good view of the side of the rear tire. There are about 150 individual pieces. This video shows the repair on this saddlebag. This is the pile of pieces I recovered after the bag blew apart. There were many more smaller pieces that would have been impossible to fit back together and were discarded. With the door hinges and catches pulled apart, I thought it doubtful that I could get the bag to open, close, and latch properly. You can see the damage inside the bag, like the bottom was blown out, and you can see the rear tire on the back side. As the bike is 25 years old and parts getting harder to find, I decided to give it a try. At worst, I could bond the door into place and continue riding less a bag. I began on the saddlebag by finding the largest and most recognizable pieces and fit them back into place. It was like a big jigsaw puzzle. I held the pieces into place with masking tape to hold them and maintain shape while the resin air cures. The curing time is 24 hours and the pieces must be securely held in place for the entire cure time. I then used the fairing repair resin to bond the pieces back together. Starting from the inside of the saddlebag, there are a lot of cracks to be repaired. As this is raw plastic inside the bag, I did not v-groove the cracks and just ran a bead of resin over them. I knew that if I tried to cut new pieces for all of the missing parts that it would just not be practical. So I decided that when I had put all the larger pieces back in, I would cover all of the damage with a single new piece in each area. Some pieces fit into place and did not need to be taped. I then ran a bead of fairy repair over the joints and other areas that required bonding. It is quite the jigsaw puzzle and requires several tries to get the right piece into the right place. Many of the pieces were so small that it was impossible to tell where they went. I will have to make patches to cover the damage to the side next to the tire and the whole bottom of the bag. I'm surprised at how the repair is progressing. It's not as hard as I first thought when I saw the amount of damage to be fixed. Just take one area at a time and get it right before going on to the next. It's like the old joke, how do you need an elephant? One bite at a time. I started on the bag door while the resin I applied to the bag interior cured. Again, I began with the largest and most recognizable pieces. Don't try and put resin between the cracks like you would if you were gluing them back together. This will expand the parts and things won't fit back together properly. Use masking tape to hold the pieces as tightly together as possible and then start the repair from the backside. Using a Dremel tool, clean up the areas that are painted or need trimming to fit together. The hardest part of the process is to make sure that things don't move during the curing time. If needed, 
tape the parts to the table or tape supports into place to hold the parts where they need to be. Apply a bead over the cracks and allow 24 hours to air cure. Moving on to the next pieces in the puzzle, I continue to tape things back together and apply the resin. If there are mounting holes in the broken areas, apply the resin where needed to bond things back together. Once the resin is cured, you can re-drill and even tap the holes or use a file or dremel to clean things up. This is the end of the first video in the bag repair series. I hope you have found this helpful. If you subscribe to our YouTube channel, you'll be informed of when the next video is available. There are many more repair videos on our website, easyabsrepair.com.